Okay, uh, uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Ram Krishna. Uh, I, from I Move Motion Tech, we are incubated at uh, IIT Madras. We are one of the three teams from India, and I thank M2D2 for inviting us here. Um, so what we are into is essentially wearable medical devices. For what kind of applications? Well, we look at people essentially with movement disorders, in particularly elderly people, or also people who have who have suffered stroke. So statistically, we see that there's a lot, lot of people, at least in the United States, which, which suffer stroke. And uh, one of the major uh, detection points of, of, or the diagnosis points is to look at the uh, analysis through uh, the movement of, of, of a person, essentially called the gait analysis. And this, this market is growing uh, annually at a rate of about 14%. And in the last five years, uh, there is a good market, at least up to uh, 36 billion in 2019. Okay, so what is what is ex existing? Existing is the if I talk of the diagnosis part, we look at a lab-based setup, essentially like a, like a big room with a set of cameras. It turns out to be expensive. There are portability issues, and we of course need large dedicated spaces to monitor the, the or diagnose the patient. From a treatment point of view, if I look at so uh, primarily we are t t looking at people with, uh, who can not move fast, with foot drop, uh, things even uh, looking at Parkinson disease or any, any basic motoring action. Right? So the treatment is via stimulating a nerve, via, via an external stimulator called the functional electrical stimulator. At the moment what we see is, is like non-customizable, it's, it's more uh, treatment by visual uh, than, 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 than more with, with, to do with the actual condition, with the data of the patient, and it's inefficient in a way that it could also result in, in muscle fatigue. So the kind of devices which are in the market now are not clinical ready, they are more like uh, nicer versions, versions of, of Fitbit kind of stuff. Okay, so what, what we are up to in this, right? So we do things which are wearable, which are from the gait analysis, we have a modular gait analysis system. So the entire room which we saw in the previous slide can now shrink into this little box here, right? So I can diagnose the gait just by this box, and a little ad addition to this box will provide me with the external stimulation, right? So both of these will give me an automated medical grade rehabilitation from hospital to home kind of setting, right? So what we have done is a case study of a, of a foot drop. So we have uh, tested this on at least half a dozen patients, and uh, we could provide a good level of treat or assist into uh, recovery of, uh, of conditions for, for patients, right? Okay, so where does a major technology innovation come, right? So we collect the data, we have an uh, AI-based mechanism, right, to, uh, to uh, analyze and treat the patients to, uh, such that it will reduce the muscle fatigue, and all this will be through a cloud-based monitoring. So I can actually do uh, monitoring from a very remote location right? that kind of reduces the hospital cost and so so this is this can also serve like a like a mobile hospital in a, so to so to speak and this is uh, so all this what we have now is we are having a patentable result so currently where we are we got about fifty thousand dollars from funding from india a bit from uh, the Deshpande center we have proof of concept we are collaborating with half a dozen hospitals so where we need support is into prototyping till clinical trials FDA certifications towards a market ready product. Okay, so a potential market that we really look at tapping is the $30 million market, uh, which is easily tappable in the next five years. So this is our team. A couple of them are here, travel all the way from India, and a couple of my colleagues who are based in Bangalore in India. Thanks a lot. Hi, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your trip over here. So, yeah, thanks a lot. Um, welcome. Uh, so, uh, one question. Um, in terms of the uh, device that you mentioned, you tested it on foot drop. Have you tested it on other types of gait issues? And do you have a sense of the, uh, the reliability in its ability to conform and transmit that information? Yeah, so we uh, tested lots of uh, gait monitoring. Could be the foot drop, could be uh, things to do with the arm motion. Uh, from the treatment point of view, we are extensively treated uh, foot drop related issues, but we are sure we could also uh, extrapolate these results to treat Parkinson's, for example, or any, any, any kind of uh, motor-related disorders which essentially come as a result of a stroke or, or, or even for elderly patients. So, we, so the, the innovation comes from collecting lots of data and using current techniques in, from machine learning and AI 
to have a more accurate diagnosis of patients, patients than which is more like a visual in the current current trend. So I think this is easily scalable to, to other kind of disorders too. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks a lot.